Hi everyone, this is Rosie and welcome to my studio where we can explore creativity together. In August 2017, I purchased my first electronic die cutting machine, which was the Cricut Maker. And I was a total newbie to electronic die cutting machines. So I had a lot of questions. And two of the questions I had were, what is Cricut Design Space and what is Cricut Access? So I just want to give you a brief definition of what they both are. First of all, to use either one, you do need to have a Cricut ID. If you don't already have one, you can go right over here where it says create a Cricut ID. You would click that and fill in all of the necessary information. So I just signed in with my Cricut ID and it automatically brings you up into Cricut Access. But for right now, I just want to go over to the canvas of Cricut Design Space. And to do that, I go over here to this drop down menu, I click on it. And I'm just going to click on Canvas. So let's just give two very brief definitions. What is Cricut Design Space? Well, basically, it's a free cloud based design software where you can create your own projects or you can use it to make your Make It Now projects. And because it's cloud based, you can use it on different devices. So, for example, I have an iPad and I have an iMac. So if I start a project on my iMac, I can work in the canvas here, creating a project using the tools that are available to me here. And then later on, if I want to sit on the couch and finish up the project, I can go back in on my iPad and finish the project. And currently, Cricut Design Space is compatible with the following machines. Cricut Explore, Cricut Explore Air, Cricut Explore 1, Cricut Explore Air 2, and Cricut Maker. For your system requirements, the best thing to do is just go and check on the website again to get the most up to date information. But it does work on Windows and Mac systems, and I use it on my iPad. So, what is Cricut Access then? Well, basically, it's a library of fonts, images, and Make It Now projects. And you would use this library in conjunction with Design Space. You can buy individual designs in Cricut Access. But if you're going to purchase more than a few designs a month, it's probably worth it for you to get the subscription because purchasing a couple of designs would probably end up costing you as much as it would a monthly subscription. Now, the designs that are on there, there are unlicensed designs and there are licensed designs. With the subscription, you get to use the unlicensed designs at no extra cost to you if you purchase the subscription. You can subscribe either on a monthly basis or a yearly basis. And again, for the most up-to-date current information, always check the Cricut website. And currently, Cricut offers three different subscription levels. So let's go take a look at what is offered to you at this time. I'm over at the website on the Cricut Access page, and Cricut is currently offering three different subscription levels. So you have the first one here, which is just fonts. And you get 370 plus fonts. And the cost, if it's billed monthly, is $6.99 a month. If you bill it annually, so you have a yearly subscription, it's $59.88, which gives you a savings there, as you can see. The second level is called their Cricut Access Standard. With that subscription, you get the 370 fonts, you get 30,000 plus images, you save 10% off if you buy any digital purchases. And you also get 10% off of any physical purchases that you make through the Cricut website. And so that would be anything like your blades, your papers, anything of that nature. And the monthly cost of that is $9.99 if it's billed monthly. It's $95.88 if you bill it annually. So you would save a little bit again on that yearly subscription. And then you have the Cricut Access Premium. And with that, you get the fonts, the 30,000 images. And on this one, you get 50% off of digital purchases and you get 10% off of your physical purchases. But on this one here, they do not allow you to have a monthly subscription to that. That is only on a yearly basis, which would be $119.88 at the current time. Remember, guys, I'm recording this at the beginning of February 2018. Things change, so always check the website for most current information. And please note that there are some exclusions for the digital purchases, then you can read those on the website right here. Now I do have an affiliate link in the video description below that you can use to 
subscribe to Cricut Access. Please know that I do receive a commission if you choose to use this link to purchase your subscription, but it is at no additional cost to you and it does help me to bring you more videos. So now let's talk a little bit about how you would access the designs on Cricut Access within your Cricut Design Space Canvas. When you first sign in with your Cricut ID, you're going to come to this page here, which shows you all of the ready to make projects that are available to you on Cricut Access. And the ones that are available to you are the ones that are marked with this little A in the green banner here. So you can scroll through here and find the ones marked with the A. And again, those are the ones that are at no additional cost to you to use those. But I like to search for my designs from the canvas and I'll show you how to do that. Again, if you go over here to this corner and you click on canvas, I'm here on the canvas and let's say I want to do a make it now project. I can go over here and click on projects and this is going to give me again all of the projects on Cricut Access. You can see here these are the simplicity ones and if I click on one of these, these are the license. Simplicity is one of the license designs, and it gives you information about the materials that you need to use. Um, it gives you in assembly instructions, and down right here, it tells you what the cost of purchasing that is. Remember, this one is not included in your subscription to use without an additional cost. So you would go ahead and click Make It if you wanted to make this project, and then you would be prompted to pay for it. But let's say you don't you only want to look at the ones that are not licensed that you can use at no additional cost. What you can do is go up here where it says all categories and click that drop down menu and then click on Cricut Access. And now it's only going to sort by the ones that you can use with no at no additional cost. And you can see all of these are marked now with an A. And again, let's say I wanted to make this cute little sneaker here. Again, it's going to tell you the materials that you need to use. It's going to tell you what your preparation is, your assembly. And then down over here, it tells you that the cost is zero. And it also tells you the images that are being used in the project and that you are subscribed. So you can see it says subscribed to all of these. And then again, if you want to make this, you would go ahead and hit the Make It button and prepare your project on the Design uh, Space Canvas. Now there was one project that kind of confused me. It's right over here. It's the key to my heart shaker card. And again, it gives you all the same information as the other projects. But if you look down here, it says that the cost is $2.97, even though it has the Cricut Access symbol on it telling me that I can use that at no additional cost. But when I looked at the fonts that are used in this project, I can see that some of them must be licensed, and it's these three right here because all the other ones say subscribed. So this project has a mixture of subscribed images and licensed images. So make sure that you're careful about that when you're choosing a project. Well, now let's look at how we would load an image onto our canvas. So I go over here to the left side and I click on images. And again, I'm brought up um, all the images, the ones with the a on the green banner are the ones that are available to me at no additional cost. You can see over here this one uh, is not included. It would be 99 cents. But again, I only want to see the ones that are avail available to me on Cricut Access. I go over here to the top right corner of the screen and I hit filter and I check off the box that says Cricut Access. And now I only have the ones that are available with the subscription. But suppose I want to look at something specific. I can go right up here and I can type in some search words. So let's say I want to put on a bunny rabbit. So I type in bunny rabbit. And now I've sorted it where all I have on here is bunny rabbits and all the ones on here are available through Cricut Access that are not licensed. And let's just say I want to put this little guy on here. I click on him. And then I go down to the bottom right corner of the screen where it says insert images. And then he's loaded on my canvas. 
So now to add some text, I would go over here to the left side and I'd click on the text button. And a text box appears right down here. And that's where I'm going to type in my text. But first I want to select a font. So I'm going to go up here, click on the drop down menu. And again, all the ones that are available, all the fonts that are available to you at no additional cost are marked here with the A. The ones that have a price next to them, those are the ones that you would have to purchase. And the ones that do have a cost, once you purchase them, they're available to you all the time. So let's pick out a font here. Let's do this one up here. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to type in my saying. I'm going to say, happy to see you. Okay. And then I can size it. And then I can just bring my rabbit down. And there I have the beginning of a little card. So that's it. Pretty simple to use. There are lots of really great designs on Cricut Access. I hope that um, I've cleared up any questions that any of you may have had. I know being a newbie myself, um, some of this was confusing and I had to kind of figure my way through everything. But the website actually has some really great information on it. And that should always be your first stop whenever you're trying to um, figure something out. I do enjoy bringing these videos to you. Please like and subscribe. And again, it's important to subscribe because I have a lot more videos on the way.